Hey YouTube, uh, today TC is going to show you guys how to fix R4 games that don't work. Like for example, I went and bought Ninja Town, and I went and got a backup of my game, and it don't work on my R4 card. So I did some research and I and, uh, found this, which is called Max Overworld Method or something like that. Just It'll be the first link in the description, download it, and after you get done download it, extract it to your desktop. Now, you can just move the zip folder somewhere safe. Now, open the folder. And in that you should see DS Lazy, a readme, Max Overworld, and an ARM7 file. The ARM7 is what you're actually going to be needing to actually make it work. So, so first, go into DS Lazy. And open the little icon looks like a DS that says DS Lazy. And you can just minimize the DS Lazy folder. Now, once you've got this open, hit this little button right here and browse f uh, for your DS game. Mine is on my desktop, so easy access. Just select it and open. Now, wait till this little load bar at the bottom gets done. See, it says please wait, loading file. Okay, now once it says loaded NDS file, go over here to this uh, little button right here. It looks like a saw, and click it, and it, the NDS unpacker, and a folder should pop up. Okay, now this ARM7, go back down here to the DS, well, this DS Lazy, hit the back button on the DS Lazy folder that I told you to minimize. And then this ARM7.bin file, right click, I mean left click, and copy, and left click and paste in the file that popped up, and make sure you copy and replace if it asks you to do that. And then you can close, uh, minimize the DS Lazy folder, or the Max Overworld, World, and then minimize the what it unpacked, the window that popped up when you unpacked it, and then click NDS Packer. And then it should say save, save and file. When it's done, this window should pop open. Now, if you name it the same name that it was when you put on your back on your desktop on the same folder, uh, it may not work correctly. So I just named it Ninja real quickly. Ninja.nds. You don't have to type .nds. It should automatically put it for you. And then the folder that it un unpacked, you can just close it out. Okay. Now, uh, go back into. Well, first you can take the uh, other ROM or NDS game file and put it in the safe place if you want to. We go back into the Max Overworld folder. And then open the file that says Max Overworld 1.2. And then this little thing right here, Max Overworld Patcher. Double click it and this little window right here should open. Now all you gotta do is click open. Browse for your NDS file. Mine's on my desktop, so easy once again. And just highlight it and or click it and open it. Now it should open like this and this says car read card read in not found. It may not have patched what it needed to be patched because some games need to be patched more than just the ARM7 being replaced. I can't explain that too much because I don't want to make a video too long. But you should see that extra little file pop up. And then go back to, uh then you can put in your R4 or your micro SD card and put your game back on your micro SD card. And then, once that's done, you can close that out. And now, uh, we're going to go back to the indie. We're going to go back to the Nintendo DS. Okay. Now, just pop in your micro SD card. Sorry, it's kind of kind of hard to do with one hand. Now just turn it on. Select games or game and then browse down to the game folder. 
And then, hold on, let me put the camera down. You can go down to your games. Okay, now once you're at the game, select it, save file, let it load, and it should work. Now, this is not guaranteed to work 100% of the time, but over 90% of the games that I found, I mean, the post that I found this on, everyone said about 90% of the games it works on. So, thank you once again for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment.